Hello everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here, back working out of IXL's 8th grade math, section AA, which is systems of linear equations. Today we're going to classify a system of equations. Yesterday we classified systems of equations, or not yesterday, but in my last video, uh, we classified systems of equations by graphing. Today we're going to try and do it without graphing. So as a reminder here, um, we're going to describe or classify the system of equations as either inconsistent, consistent, and independent, or consistent and dependent. Um, yesterday we noticed that inconsistent meant parallel lines. Basically, they never cross, there are no solutions because they're parallel. Consistent and dependent means um, that they have, or sorry, consistent and independent means that they have different slopes. So consistent means they have a solution, independent as in they're independent from each other, there's going to be at least one solution. Okay, so if they have different slopes, we're gonna notice that um, that they're uh, consistent and independent. Okay, but um, if they have the same slopes and the same y-intercept, it's because they're the same li line, and we're going to call those consistent and dependent. Consistent uh, meaning not only does it have one solution, it's got like a lot of solutions. Dependent meaning one is completely dependent on the other. All right, so real quick on this one, um, I can see that um, they do have different slopes. Really doesn't matter to me what their y-intercepts are. One's got a slope of negative six-sevenths. One's got a slope of seven-ninths. So I know that these two lines are going to intersect one time, um, making them consistent and independent. All right, so on this one, um, this is my second one, they're the same exact line, okay? So again, the, the one that we said on that one was... Um, same line, consistent and dependent. Consistent and dependent. They have the same slope and the same y-intercept that makes them have the exact, uh, they're the exact same line. All right, and then this one, they have the same slope, same slope, eight fifths, but they have different y-intercepts, ten as opposed to one eighth. That means they're parallel lines that are never going to intersect, we call those inconsistent, inconsistent. All right, so then things get a little bit tougher here because now we're given two lines that aren't necessarily in um, a slope-intercept form. So it's a little bit tougher to identify their slope and y-intercept. So we did this um, a couple lessons ago if you're watching my videos. We're, we're going to take this first equation and we're going to write it into intercept form. It can be done in two steps. One, subtract 9x from both sides. That'll give me 2y equals negative 9x minus 1. Next, divide both sides by 2. Negative 9 divided by 2, don't overthink it. It's just negative 9 halves. Negative 1 divided by 2 is negative 1 half. Now we can see the slope is negative 9 halves and the y-intercept is negative 1 half. Then let's look at the second um, equation here. So it's 18x plus 4y equals 1. Um, so I'm going to subtract 8x from both sides, or I'm sorry, 18x from both sides. That'll give me 4y equals negative 18x plus 1, and then I'm going to divide both sides by 14. Negative 18 over 4 is negative 9 over 2, and 1 over 4 is just 1 over 4. Again, don't overthink these things. Negative 18 over 4, just simplify that fraction to negative 9 halves. Now, slope, negative 9 halves, it's the same. So are they the same line? Or are they different lines? Well, the y-intercept is different. So that means they're different lines, but they are parallel. So we call this inconsistent. Inconsistent. Same, um, same slope, but um, different y-intercepts, known as parallel. Next. Um, well, I do want to point something out on that, too. You might be able to tell, like, oh, 9 times 2 is 18, and 2 times 2 is 4, but negative 1 times 2 isn't 1. That's a pretty good hint that you're going to have inconsistent. All right, so let's utilize that. 
here. Three times three, or one times three is three. Four times three, or negative four times three is negative 12. Six times three is 18. I'm thinking these are the same line. Um, they're the same exact line, which would be consistent and independent. But I'm going to show you that they are the same line by turning them into uh, intercept form. So x minus 4y equals 6. Subtract x from both sides, and you get negative x plus 6. And then divide both sides by negative 4. Negative 1 divided by negative 4 is 1 fourth. Just get rid of the negatives. So 1 fourth x. And 6 divided by negative 4. Um, it's a positive divided by a negative, so a negative 6 over 4 simplifies to 3 over 2. Then we'll take the second equation. 3x minus 12y equals 18. I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides, so negative 12y equals negative 3x plus 18. And then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 12. Negative 3 divided by negative 12 is a negative divided by a negative, so that's positive, and 3 over 12 is 1 fourth, and then 18 over negative 12, it's positive divided by a negative is a negative, 18 over 12 is 3 halves. So what do we notice? We notice that, oh, they both have a slope of 1 fourth, and they both have a slope of negative 3 halves, so they are indeed the same exact line, we call that consistent and dependent consistent, they have um, an equation, or they have a solution, dependent, because one's solution is always the same solution as the other one, um, so they're always the same line. So again, in summary, inconsistent means parallel lines. They have the same slope but a different y-intercept. Consistent and ind independent means that they are different lines with different slopes. They're going to cross one time and have one solution. And consistent and dependent means they're the same line. And we can identify that by seeing that their slope and y-intercept are the same. So this should help you with classifying a system of equations, a skill in section AA, systems of linear equations in IXL's 8th grade math.